Hello and welcome, I'm Natasha Gutierrez and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. The Bureau of Customs says it will follow President Benigno Aquino's order and stop physical checks of Balikbayan boxes unless suspicious. Customs Commissioner Bert Lina adds the BOC is getting canine units and additional CCTV cameras. Earlier, the Finance Department released a statement saying only after a derogatory x-ray or canine result will the boxes be searched. Customs angered overseas Filipino workers when it warned against abuse of Balikbayan box privileges. Makati has a new supplier for its free birthday cakes for senior citizens. Goldilocks Bake Shop will make birthday cakes from August 15 to December 31, 2015. The cake giving program became controversial after allegations Makati Mayor Jun Jun Binay and his father, Vice President Jajamar Binay, overpriced the cakes. Goldilocks was the sole participant in the public bidding with a budget of 8.6 million pesos or around $185,000. <laughs> The Philippine Stock Exchange records its longest trading halt in history. PSE Chief Hans Sikat says a technical glitch and not the market drop cost the five-hour halt. The, the trigger has been uh, a, uh, a technical glitch, uh, which we apologize for, and we hope that we can actually uh, come on stream ASAP. This comes after the Philippine stock market plunged 6.7% Monday due to worries over China's slowing economy. Singapore dissolves its parliament Tuesday. In a Facebook post from Prime Minister Lee Sian Long, the city-state also prepares for a general election set on September 11. It will be Singapore's first election without its founding father Lee Kuan Yew, who died in March. Typhoon Gani slams Japan, leaving 13 people with minor injuries and disrupting transportation services. The powerful storm hit southwestern Kumamoto Prefecture at about 6 a.m. Japanese officials issue an evacuation advisory for more than 100,000 residents as it warned the public of violent floods and high waves. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Natasha Gutierrez. Remember, tomorrow begins today.